Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So today, we are finally starting out on, well, trying to feed our brand new friend who's outside our cafe. So if you guys didn't know, ooh, <laughs> okay, I didn't know <laughs> when I'm recording this. Um, so yeah, it's supposedly Slowpoke's turn. Um, and I didn't notice before. Pip plot notification. Oh man. Okay, so I'm very happy for this because Pip plot is my favorite Pokemon. Because uh, <laughs> anything penguin is just love for me. So yeah. So yeah, we're getting 600 orders now. Oh goodness gracious me, we are even further <laughs> behind on stages. Uh, and I probably have to get busy with my Nintendo Switch account again. But that's fine. Pip plot, uh, you're always welcome. So yeah. So this time around, the main event is the Galarian Slowpoke. So yes, gather your teammates. Uh, well, if you have a good team, that is. Um, oh nope, we're not gonna buy anything. Uh, yeah. And try and get this lovable, go-headed, and gluttonous slow friend to join our cafe. <laughs> Look at him slouch. Uh, just makes me feel like going back to bed. All right. So came because I was drawn to the delicious curry smell. Are we having curry? Wait, do we have curry meals in the cafe? Okay. So what a rare sight. Yummy yummy curry smell. Yawn. <laughs> uh, Slowpoke seems so tired. It's probably hungry. If I remember correctly, Galarian Slowpoke are gluttonous. Will this Slowpoke be satisfied with a regular menu? I have an idea. Why don't we all work together to prepare lots of offerings that will surely satisfy this slowpoke? VB. Yeah, everybody's on board. Alright, let's work together to satisfy this gluttonous Pokemon. So if you guys are playing this game still, and if you are having problems with um, finding a team that is pretty active to try and get um, the event Pokemon such like Snorlax, Slowpoke, and what was the previous one that we had? Uh, Mimikyu. Um, yeah, don't worry. I mean, you can play in the current team that you're in, but if you're struggling in terms of points, you can always leave the team that you're currently in. But do take note, um, there is a one-day hiatus um, before you can join another new team that is probably doing better. Um, but of course, doing that will definitely give you more than enough points. Whatever points you have earned in the previous team will carry on um, with the brand new team that you are currently in. So, I just have to check. Is my team active? It seems like, well, a few of them are active. Quite a bit of them, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to stay on with Believers. Um, and I believe that we can do this. <laughs> so, okay. Before we begin, as usual, we have to do the invitations. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh because we don't want to waste the stars on Minchino. So we do have Plusso, which is fantastic because we have yet to get Plusso to join our cafe. Okay, so it seems like we need Megaphone Pokemons. Wabafet, hmm, Wabafet is pretty risky. So I hope things go well. Don't want to rely too much on luck. Alright, let's get all the Wabafet icons. Because we need to get the skill out. There you go. And let's get Pikachu going. Let's break up all the ice on the top row first. Followed by the lower levels. Charmander. Okay, we are short on one of them. It's okay, we gotta set free our... Oh, our skill icon got sealed up by olives again. That's fine. Well, we do have another one popping up. Alright, there we go. So, let's 
so we have to take note of like the amount of eggs that we gotta get. Uh, the problem here is there are some of the bubblegum icons, so we gotta be careful of those as well. And of course, the marshmallows. The marshmallows are really annoying um, if you can't get them destroyed in time. So definitely the marshmallows will be the main priority. Okay, let's get the icons going. Fantastic. So we do need to change the icons to the majority so we can get that score. Alright, let's do this again. Making enough room for all the icons, or rather the megaphones to appear. There we go. Easy as that. So, just gotta be careful with Wawa Fat's skill. Um, you want to activate his skill icon in a spacious area with lots of um, Pokemon icons around it so that they can change to megaphones. If not, it's gonna be a really waste of a move. Alright, we can't build. Thank goodness we have this powerful Pokemon on our side right now. Mm, fruit cans. Okay, this one isn't that difficult. Um, so there aren't that many Lucario icons at the moment. So let's just gather what we can. Okay, let's use all the side characters for now. Okay, now we can get a whole bunch of Lucario. Go. Do we actually need to power up the skill? Yeah, kinda. We do need the range. There we go. Okay, so let's get the Lucarios again. We do have enough Lucario icons to get the skill out. So now it's Togapista. It's just a lot of them. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go with Snubble because there's just a lot of popcorn kernels with Jared, so let's just take advantage of that to destroy them um, before we use the skill to destroy anything else. Okay, so seems like we are in a very risky position. Go destroying as much as we can, and finally the last skill. So we used up all the moves given to us, um, so we just gotta be careful with this level. It can be a bit tricky as long as you know the popcorn kernels are in very bad position positioning placement <laughs> to you know destroy everything in one go with the skills. So you might want to be careful with that. Alright, and on to the main event. So, ooh. ooh, the team has been really hard at work. We've really unlocked level 1. Nice. Alright, oh, level 2 as well. It's great to have members who are active. Hopefully, my Nintendo Switch account is the same because I had to change teams during the last event. Alright, so we need another star to get level 4's rewards. So let's do that. Mm, I don't think we will be able to unlock Slowpoke this episode. Because I don't no matter how um, hardworking the team members are, I don't think we can reach level 8 that quickly. Who knows? Alright, so we do have Lucario again. Wait, did I forget to change the main Pokemon? I think I forgot. Oh well. Alright, let's get the honey destroyed first because they are very annoying. Don't want them to spread too much. Alright, we've got two skills. Let's go. Okay, we've got marshmallows to handle. We've got honey to handle. And of course, we have the vegetables. Okay, um, seems like, yeah, snubble, there's a lot of snubble, so let's just get most of the honey while we can, bubble saw, 
seems like the vegetables are done. There we go. So all we have to do now is just clear this. Fantastic. Not a very difficult level. Just remember you need to power up Lucario's skill if you want to get rid of all the um, coated stuff. Okay, let's get the next level reward. Fantastic. Okay. Alright, so from level 5 onwards, we have to work a bit harder because that's where the rest of the team have uh, stay stagnant. Wow, this person has already gotten 108 stars. He's very active. Okay, so let's do our part as well. Five thousand. Mm, okay, so I think it would be best if we don't um, destroy all the cheese too quickly. So let's just get rid of the olives first. All right, there we go. We have one of the skills. So can we get all the chestnuts? Apparently not. So it might be a good idea to actually power up uh, Stoutland's skill to destroy a 3 lane target hmm. okay let's gather the Wabafets it's just a lot of them it would have been a good idea to shift the chestnuts out but, you know So as long as... Oh god. I was hoping to keep the left-sided megaphone to clear the chestnuts. Oh. Such a bummer. Okay, let's go with the Stoutlands. Get the skill out. We need the score too, so... Could have ended a bit earlier, but you know, things happen. Still, clearing the level is just the most important thing. Or rather, the only important thing, aside from earning acorns. Eat up, my friend. Ah, oh, it's so cute lying on the floor. Look at that pudgy little thing. <laughs> okay, moving along. Seventy thousand, lots of pumpkins, but I only see two. Oh god! Oh wait! Oh no no! There's only two. <laughs> uh, I was just being very terrified that there'll be more. Okay, let's get a. There we go. Um, it'll be best if we can push all the pumpkins together. Go. Maybe let's use the megaphone. Okay. So we got rid of uh, popcorn plus two pumpkins together. All right. So if we can cover as much ground to destroy the sugar cubes, that would be fantastic. Um. Yeah. Let's get rid of all the popcorns here. Oh, we missed one. That's sad. Okay, now we gotta handle the one over here. There we go. So all we have to do now is just do this. I'm gonna set free some of the sugar cubes. Fantastic. I think we're doing pretty okay. We just gotta set free the sugar cube. And we should be technically done. If we can target all three of them. There we go. So not a difficult stage as well. Just make sure you set free all the destructibles, you know, before trying to clear the level. And we unlock level 5, but we are still far from attaining <laughs> the rewards. So let's keep going, Jigglypuff. I choose you. Ooh. 
very odd positioning of the fruit cans. I mean, considering that Jigglypuff's skill does destroy in a circular manner. So I think that's okay. So but the main thing is still gotta get rid of all the um, caramel bubbles. Because they do multiply. So that's a problem. Okay, I don't know if we need to power up Jigglypuff's skill. I think that we don't have to, considering that it has a pretty decent range. But let's just um, maybe power up the skill once later, just to see how things go. Okay, so technically we could destroy it without powering up. There we go. How about we power up one, just to see how far of a range. Nah. Oh god, why did I shift? A waste. It's okay. Okay, we do need a link 30 combo, so let's get it done with all the munchlex and get the skill. Okay, let's destroy this tree over here. Oh, we, I missed out on one. That's fine. Okay, let's use the megaphone to destroy these two. Hopefully, we have enough Jigglypuff icons to do a 30. Yes we do, and let's not mess up on the destruction of this tree. I'm gonna hold in place. There we go. Whew. <laughs> Messed up quite a bit. Two times in fact. So, should have ended earlier. Alright, let's keep the ball rolling. annoying oh no just when I said not that annoying I noticed there's the mixing canisters oh god <laughs> okay so we just gotta set them free okay let's push them first there we go okay let's set this one free and destroy a bunch of whipped creams um then of course we gotta push this down all right all the creams are out, so let's just do this. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to? Yeah, probably. The only problem here is that this, the egg baskets are in the way. So that's a problem. There we go. Maybe let's just do this. Destroy the skill. Let it activate. So we can destroy the whipped creams. Fantastic. So now we just get to get a score. And destroy the whipped creams. Oh no. The last whipped cream is not destroyed. Okay. This is painful. But you know can be done with one move, so technically, I'll just go for it. <laughs> I mean, I can afford 900 acorns as well, so why not? Alright. The chocolates. Hmm. All right, so let's gather a whole bunch of the icons first. Maybe set free the Nana's bubbles that we have on the sides. It would be a good idea if we can power up the skill because we want to destroy all the Nana's bubbles in the center as quickly as we can. There we go. So let the skill. Uh, let the Pokemon icons hold the. Man, this bubble is in place. There we go. So let's get our toga please going. All the way in if possible. Destroy the mayonnaise bubbles. Um we do have a problem. Like some of the mayonnaise bubbles are not completely destroyed and they do contain one of the last chocolate pieces. Okay, so we're gonna destroy olives first on this side. Because 
olives are a problem. So we might end up, you know, retrying due to the Oh, we may not actually. Okay. Wow, we got lucky there. <laughs> we got really lucky. <laughs> So yeah, this is definitely one of those stages that you might have to pay attention to. Especially with the olives and the marshmallows. It would be a pain if the marshmallows get coated with olives, uh, olive oil. And then you have to wait for the marshmallow to reappear again for destruction. So yeah, that can be very annoying. What? So the whole middle area is full of togepis and bubbles. Okay, I see. Alright, so let's do a 22 link. I don't know if we can do a 22 link. Hmm. Alright. We do need to get vegetables going though. Okay. Um, we probably need to push the skill icon to the middle so that, you know, um, we can send it to the center area. Okay. Um, like this. So that the icons can flow in. Okay. Hmm. This is a problem. All right. Okay. So once we've gotten this, we can cover most of the Pokemon icons to change them. Oh, oh wait. We only needed a pop the popcorn set. <laughs> what happens when you're not paying attention to the objectives but uh, oh well we managed to clear the level that's fine that's fine <laughs> we're one star away from getting Ordino yes so happy to see that cheerful smile join our cafe all right Starly let's go Ooh. So the pumpkins are all in the middle area, that's fine. It's gonna be a lot of help. Uh, I'm just gonna slowly destroy the cheese. Okay. Let's do this. Alright. Still not totally free from the cheese captivity. So we gotta slowly bash our way through. Unless, you know, Starly's skill and it summons a decent positioning of yeah megaphones just like that okay mm -hmm. so let's set the honey free all right let's go i think the honey destruction is a bit more important right now okay there we go Decent amount of honey destroyed. Um, let's go with bubble saw because there's just a lot of them. Alright, lots of starly. We need the score though, so don't be afraid to use icons instead of skills. Okay, now we just need to summon the whole bunch of megaphones to clear the objective. There we go. Done. Not too bad of a level. Okay. Very close to the end of the episode. Definitely need to put more episodes out if I want to attain Slowpoke. <laughs> can't really rely on the team members too much. We gotta play our part. Alright, so this one you just have to be careful to set free all the 
destructibles from their olive activity. Okay, we do have Barbosa skills, so let's destroy a whole bunch of stuff. Of course, changing the icons to the majority. Alright, with that, we've set everything free. So let's just destroy. Okay. Now we should go over here to destroy most of this stuff so we can get more space for icons there we go all right so we are looking pretty good when it comes to the marshmallow destructions right now so we don't really need to use the skills to destroy the marshmallows I uh, do need the skills to destroy the chestnut and the chocolate. Okay, so all we have to do is just this, and we're done! Simple as that. So yeah. Prioritize what needs to be set free or destroyed first, and we should be good. Oh, Munchilex gets the friendship bonus. Is this the last level as well? Because it's going to be a lot of stars. Oh, it is! Ooh. Alright. Time to not combo and gain that six stars. Nice. Okay. Let's do our best. Hopefully we don't end up messing things up. So I apologize if you guys are able to hear the vacuum sounds, um, because, you know, parents be cleaning the house. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so let's go gather more icons, set the Hollis free. Okay, we do need to power up the skill so we can destroy both things at one go. There we go. Okay, gotta make sure we destroy all the coated stuff. Simple as that. Let's get the Ghibli going. Now, the only problem here is um, the olives are gonna coat the fruit canisters. So let's avoid that by destroying the canisters if we can. Oh, we should have powered up the skill. Oh well. What a bummer. It's my bad. Okay. We still can do this. Hmm. We might be facing a problem. Oh god, I should probably have used Jigglypuff instead. Yeah. This is my fault entirely. <laughs> so if we do want the friendship bonus, we are definitely going to have to do this. So really my bad on this. Okay, let's just get enough skills so we can get the skill icon out. There we go. Can we push this down so that I don't accidentally destroy it? I need it to destroy the last can. There we go. Simple as that. Well, oh, technically, not so simple considering that we do have to power up um, the skill twice to clear this level. So, yeah, take note on that when you're clearing this level. Oh, we're getting new recipes. Ooh, tomato puree. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> oh, it's omelette rice. Um, with Torchic's face on it. Well, head, technically. Beheaded Torchic. <laughs> Give you nightmares. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We've got another 10 levels done. We are technically kind of like 189 levels or orders away from completing all 600 orders. So we're not doing too bad. We're not, we're not like back to the 50% mark. <laughs> so 
technically still pretty okay. Um, no. Uh, what was Audino inside? Yeah, I almost forgot Audino's name for a moment. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, once Audino appears again, we are definitely getting Audino as our brand new friend in our crew. So that's exciting. Um, we are technically halfway, kind of, um, for level five. Um, knocking Slowpoke is at level nine, so they did shift it up. Um, as um, as since the mini queue event, so yes, guys, you guys need to work a bit harder to gain the event Pokemon, and especially if you want to power up the event Pokemon with its um, fruit tarts or cupcakes, whatever dessert is that. Um, so yeah, do your best. Try to get Slowpoke within the event period. Um, let me see, how many days is Slowpoke a present? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Starts on the 18th, which was two days ago. At this point of time that I'm recording, till the 2nd of December. Wow. So looking at the calendar, basically we've got um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 days to get Galarian Slowpoke. So guys, do your best. And hopefully you guys get Galarian Slowpoke sooner than I do. <laughs> I, I know I'll be slow at this, well, at least for my mobile account. Um, I'll probably be very busy on my Nintendo Switch in the next few days. And yeah, all the best as always. And thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. Let me know your thoughts on the event so far and how you guys are doing with the orders in the comments down below and of course if you enjoyed yourself and you know if you learned something new about the stages leave a like to this video subscribe if you're brand new because there's more coming your way till then guys bye